Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, my name is Julianne and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys eight things that I have been doing in the last few years to really benefit my happiness. Wow, it is <laughs> very bright and that is making me very joyful. So first of all, let me give you guys a little bit of a backstory. So do you guys remember 2019? It seems like a very long time ago. That was the time where we didn't know what was coming. We didn't know what was going to be happening at the end of 2019. And in that summer is when I got married to my German husband. And then right after we got married, literally two days after our wedding, I moved back with him to Germany and it was so overwhelming because number one, we were like freshly married. Number two, I was living in a totally different country. I had only spent a little bit of time there. I hadn't learned the language yet. It was all very new to me. It was just so overwhelming and very difficult. And then on top of that, COVID happened. Nice. As so many other people, my happiness really took a hard hit at that time and I was really struggling. Since then, I have been finding ways that I know benefit me and that have really helped me find my happiness again. And I am very happy to say that I am happy again. <laughs> and I do want to partially attribute my new happiness to these things because these are things that I personally do that, you know, I have seen the results with, but also there have been studies done on these things that prove that they can really help with happiness. So without further ado, let's get into the list. So number one is fitness. So fitness is something that I have started taking seriously because I have noticed that when when I do some sports, even if it's just like a little tiny thing, doesn't have to be a full workout or anything, I always just feel better afterwards. And that is because when you do any type of fitness, it releases endorphins. So endorphins reduce stress, depression, and anxiety. They improve your mood, they reduce pain and discomfort, they increase pleasure, and they boost self-esteem. And endorphins can also be released through other activities too. It doesn't have to be just fitness. Fitness is a big one, but also laughing or playing music, eating dark chocolate. Those are also like scientifically proven to release endorphins. And I think everybody has experienced that, that you're just happier after you laugh. You're happier when you're listening to happy music. You're happier I mean, generally, you're happier after you do a bit of physical activity. So the second thing that has really increased my happiness is I have found hobbies. Now, I think it's really important for everybody to have a hobby, like something outside of work that brings you joy. So for me, my hobbies are primarily knitting. I really, I really enjoy knitting and also gardening. Those are my two like big main hobbies. The benefit of having a hobby is that it's very like soothing. It's kind of your time to relax without completely like sleeping and resetting. It's, it's like a soothing activity that still keeps your mind working, but it's something that's relaxing for you. I didn't know this about knitting before, but I did find out that Knitting can reduce depression, anxiety, and slow the onset of dementia. Which, I mean, heck, that's great. So although I didn't know the studies before, I didn't know the science behind it before, but I felt it. When I have something to do, especially like with my hands, it just, it, it just increases my happiness. So number three is nutrition. So there was a study done and the results were that greater fruit and vegetable consumption was positively associated with reduced depression, less psychological distress, 
fewer mood and anxiety problems and improved perceived mental health. And something really specific that I've only just recently been actually taking regularly is vitamin D tablets. And vitamin D specifically has been shown to regulate your mood and decrease your risk of depression, which again, I didn't exactly know that before, but after I've been actually supplementing vitamin D every single day, I felt it. And generally in the last year, I have been really trying to eat healthier. I'm eating primarily plant-based, which I'm not gonna say like plant-based makes you happy or anything. Just for me, I've noticed when I'm eating more whole foods, a more like well-rounded diet with like lots of different foods in it, that has made me feel a lot better than before when I was just eating like pasta all the time. I was eating so much pasta because it was so cheap and I felt just sluggish because I wasn't eating enough vegetables. I'll be honest, I probably wasn't eating enough vegetables and it didn't make me feel good. So now that I am really trying to eat enough vegetables, it has honestly made a difference. The fourth thing is getting outside. So a research company called Nature Research, they found that spending at least two hours in green spaces, as in like, a green city park or out in the woods or you know somewhere where there's like actual nature surrounding you spending at least two hours in green spaces per week has shown health benefits and this includes reduced depression anxiety and other health risks in the study it did show that kind of the effects peak at around like five hours per week and just after five hours there's like no more benefits. So for me and my husband, we like to go on like a really long walk once a week and we'll spend like a few hours like walking through the forest or something. And then like every few days we try and like get into the city park or something. And I think this is also really important to do in the winter time as well because the sun only comes for a short amount of time and I think it's good to take advantage of that and really get outside when you have the light, when you have the sunshine. I mean, I feel this as well. When I stay inside the whole day in the winter time, it's like I wake up and it's dark and then so soon it feels like it's dark again. And just for me, it's not a nice place to be. I really like to expose myself to the sun or at least the diluted sun through the clouds every day. The fifth thing that has brought me happiness is to make goals for the future. So this has been shown to contribute to happiness because it gives a sense of meaning and purpose. And also when you set goals and accomplish your goals or milestones towards those goals, you have a really big sense of accomplishment. And it's also been proven to build your confidence. This is something that I've also experienced like for this YouTube channel when I got to 1,000 subscribers, it was really exciting and I got that boost of happiness. So I think most people know and understand that no matter what, it feels good when you have goals and you're getting to those goals. And how I can compare this to before when I wasn't very happy, during the pandemic when there wasn't a vaccine and travel was very difficult, I... Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like I just went into a hole. I didn't really have any goals for myself and I just didn't feel like I had any meaning left over. And it was really hard. So now that I do have goals and I, there's things that I do want to accomplish, it gives me something to look forward to and it just brings me excitement. The sixth thing that has brought me more happiness is by practicing gratitude. So studies have shown that this encourages more positive emotions, that people remember good experiences, they improve their health, they deal with adversity better, and they build stronger relationships. So there was this one study that was really interesting, and in the study there was a group of people who every day for 10 weeks they had to write down things that they were grateful for, and then there was like, um, like a 
test group and they just had to like write something down and then there was another group who had to write something down negative that they were frustrated about or something between the positive and the negative group there was a big difference and actually the positive group within the 10 week study period they were more likely to exercise and they also made fewer trips to the doctor's office and that's just so interesting so for me how i like practice gratitude i would say i do it more like passively i'm not like actively writing down the things that i'm grateful for i just i'm just overall grateful and like content with what i have with where i'm at whereas before when i wasn't happy like i just felt bad for myself all the time and i was really down about myself and my situation i felt bad and i felt down because it was just a cycle in my head and now i'm i'm more grateful for what i have and i'm happier the seventh thing that i make sure i do to increase my happiness is to get enough sleep so sleep is so important and there are so many health benefits to sleep other than happiness like sleep is when your body resets and recharges and heals itself and so it's very important that people get enough of it so having a good sleep is proven to increase energy strengthen your immune system heighten alertness focus and creativity improve mood and improve physical performance and I do want to say that I do have the privilege where I have an opportunity to sleep a full eight hours and not everybody has that. So I hope that if you're in that category where you really struggle to sleep or if, if you're just like unable to, if there's lots of noise pollution or because of work, then I really hope that you can get that sorted out or that, I don't know, it's, it's very difficult because I mean, obviously, if there's something stopping you from sleeping, it can be very serious, but I mean, it can be also difficult to change that. So I hope that all of you can get enough sleep. And the last thing I wanna talk about that has really improved my happiness is to be a part of something bigger than just myself. So this can be a, a religion or like a social movement it's been shown that when you are a part of something bigger you're just you're given more meaning in life and having meaning is described as a vital component of happiness and well-being for me personally one thing that i like to be a part of is like the social movement to reduce climate change and that's something that i'm not like super actively involved in i'm not like a leader in this but i i consider myself to be a part of this community as a whole and i share information especially like on my instagram sometimes i'll share information about it and like even that just makes me feel better because i'm it gives me the sense that i'm actually doing something for the benefit of other people and not just myself also me and my husband are attending a church we're not leading it or anything, but we go and we're a part of that community and that gives us like a sense of being and it just makes us feel happier overall. So that's everything I have for you guys today. I hope that this video can be helpful and I wanted to share things that I have personally experienced and things that have actually made a difference in my life but I also wanted to show that there is scientific research behind these things and they are proven to improve your happiness. It's not just random things that I have done that made me happy. You know, this is like evidence-based stuff. So it's very interesting to me and I hope that you guys got something out of it. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel it really helps out and I just want to I want to reach all the people I just I want to grow my channel so I can reach more people and spread more happiness and so yeah subscribe so that we can do that so I will see you guys in the next one bye